There are a lot of countries in the world, but in this video, we'll be going over the countries that you should never ever click on in GeoGuessr for various reasons. I get asked a lot about what is a tip or a trick that I can give to new players when they're joining the game. And it's kind of a difficult question because there are so many things to learn in GeoGuessr. There needs to be a strong foundational core to play in GeoGuessr. And I think the very, very first piece of information that everybody should know is what countries are in the game. So I'm currently on Google Maps here and GeoGuessr uses Google Maps to basically populate all the rounds in the game of GeoGuessr. So if a country does not have any road streets, basically like Honduras, for example, as you can see, there's no coverage on their roads, but if we drop it over here and say Guatemala, we do have lots of road coverage. So that's kind of what's going on here is some countries just don't allow Google to come into their country, whereas others do. And then be, I don't know what the reasons are for these countries saying no. Obviously, something like North Korea, you can probably guess what the reason is behind that, why there's no coverage here. I do just want to say before we start that every single country has what's called photosphere. So if we drop in a little guy in Pyongyang, North Korea, we will see you get something like this where we're just... This is, a, this is a bad example. Let's find a new one. Okay, so dropping our dude into Niger right now. And this is not Niger. So I think that last round kind of emphasized why these photospheres are not in the game. This is what you call a photosphere, and they are in every country. And it's basically just a 360 degree camera. Now, this is an El Salvador, a pretty beautiful picture, actually. But this is not made by Google. It's made by this person up here in the top left corner. So... When it comes down to it, photospheres are never going to be in the game. There's a couple of exceptions. For example, this map right here, interesting photospheres in obscure countries. So this is a, this is something that uh, you might see in the map like this. But when it comes down to official GeoGuessr coverage, you're not going to see any photospheres or at least none in, in any country that I'm going to tell you not to click on today. So really, we're talking about official Street View coverage today that you're going to see in maps such as World or a diverse world ADW, which is really kind of like the the premier um, map that people GeoGuessr players play with. So today we're only going over the countries that will be in, so for example, the competitive playlist or uh, a diverse world, which as I say, is kind of the map that all the professionals and the best players use. So these are the countries you should never ever click when playing GeoGuessr. So I'm currently on the website GeoTips, which I highly recommend going to if you're considering playing GeoGuessr and just kind of perusing. They have almost every single piece of information you can possibly ask for, but it's a little confusing. So we're going to break it down here today in a video format. Anything in color that you can see here is going to be in the game. So for example, Canada, US, and Mexico. I think it's good to break it up by continent because it kind of makes it easier to remember, at least I think so, in your head. Um, so these three countries, pretty big, the big three, click on them, they're in the game. Now, when it comes down to Central America, it's actually very easy because there's only one country that's really in GeoGuessr, and that's going to be Guatemala. If you're in Belize, Honduras, El Salvador, Nicaragua, or Panama, never click those ever. They're not going to be in the game. Don't click any of these grayed out countries here. Now, you may be wondering what's going on here with Costa Rica. Let's take a look. So what's going on with Costa Rica is that it doesn't actually have a Google car, but it has what's known as a trekker, which is basically just somebody going around and taking pictures. Um, you're only going to see this in a couple of weird locations. For the most part, never click on Costa Rica. In a competitive play, you're not going to see it, but sometimes you might see it like on a world map. You may see Costa Rica. Um, for example, if you put the guy down, as you can see, there are places that you can see it. Uh, for some reason, I get this area a lot over here by the La Sabana Park, and we have this statue. And as you can see, we're not on a main road. We're kind of just walking around. But if you look in the top left corner, it is it does say Google. This is official Google coverage, but you're just on the sidewalk here. So if you're on a random sidewalk, try clicking on the street. If you can't get on the street and you're in a Latin American country, go Costa Rica. But otherwise, you're probably not going to be here. So that's it with North America. Let's head to the Caribbean now. The Caribbean is a bit interesting because there's a lot of islands in the Caribbean, but only a couple of them are in GeoGuessr, which is very helpful. The first one that you actually see quite a lot is Bermuda. Bermuda is a pretty easy uh, country to get. It's pretty distinct and it's kind of all by itself up here. It's not even really in the Caribbean. It's kind of just like randomly in the Atlantic Ocean, but don't forget about Bermuda. You're going to go there quite often. The other country that you want to go with is the Dominican Republic. Just remember, do not go Haiti. 
it's not going to be Haiti. Just a quick tip when you're in the Dominican Republic, the DR, as I like to call it, is that you're only going to be in two cities. And the first one is Santo Domingo. The second one is Santiago de los Caballeros. Okay, you're not going to be anywhere else. You're always going to be in a city. If we look around, as you can see, all of the blue squiggly lines are in these two cities. The rest is just photospheres. Over here, it's like um, unofficial coverage. You're not going to get it over here. If you, I mean, you might. It's going to look really weird, though. Uh, but for the most part, if you're in the Dominican Republic, go to this city or this city. It's a 50-50 chance you're going to get it correct in the Dominican Republic. So another country that you'll see quite often is actually Puerto Rico, right next door to the Dominican Republic. Puerto Rico is a fairly common territory that you're going to get. It is a territory of the United States. It's not its own country like the DR is. Uh, but Puerto Rico, very common. Right next door to that is the U.S. Virgin Islands, which I actually forget is in the game a lot of the times. But the U.S. Virgin Islands is something that you should have in the back of your head. It might be here. So if you're thinking this is a Caribbean island, but you have no idea what, what you know, it's not any of these other ones that you think it might be, it may be the U.S. Virgin Islands. So consider it. The only other island in the Caribbean that you really have to worry about is Curacao here, which is an interesting one. It's kind of, I don't really see it too often, but it comes up every once in a while. So if it, you know, these are the only Caribbean islands that are really in the game. Martinique, let's go take a look at Martinique real quick. This is what you'll find in Martinique. This is official Google coverage. It's just in the middle of the jungle. You're not, there's no clues other than you're in a jungle. You can move around, so it's not technically like a photosphere. It's called the trekker, where you can move around. You're just not on an official road. Again, I would generally never ever click Martinique unless you see something like this, unless you're just in a jungle type environment and there's no clues and you're just have you're at a loss for everything. But for the most part, you never have to click on Martinique ever. And actually, there are two more islands. They are actually a part of, I believe, Colombia. Yes, so these are little islands of Colombia here, San Andres, uh, and also Provincia up here, and they are uh, Providencia, my, my apologies. These are both in GeoGuessr. They are a part of Colombia, though. So if you guess Colombia, and it's one of these islands, you'll get it correct. It's a correct country. But just know, because they are kind of far away, that uh, you may be on one of these islands as well. But this is kind of an advanced thing. Don't worry about it uh, when you're just starting out. All right, on to South America. South America is really easy. Just remember the very top of South America never ever clicks. So this is Venezuela. This is like Guyana. This is Suriname. And this is uh, the French uh, Guinea, Guinea or something. I'm not, I'm, honestly, I don't know how to pronounce it because I never click on it. I'm not really even sure what's going on up here. Never click these four countries slash territories. As you can see, everything else is blue here. Uh, they are in the game. The one thing you have to keep in mind is Paraguay. So let's just kind of analyze that a, a quick second here. Now, interestingly enough, this little area of Paraguay used to be on Google Maps, but they had taken it off. So I'm not sure if this is still in GeoGuessr the game or not. But the only place in Paraguay that's going to be in GeoGuessr is on this little dam right here, right next to Brazil. I'll zoom out so you can kind of see where it is. It's right right here um, in the Ciudad del Este. Um, but it appears they actually took it out of the game. So honestly, never ever click on Paraguay, to be honest with you. It looks like they did take it out of the game. But if you do see this giant dam here and you're in South America, you may be in Paraguay, maybe. But honestly, just go Brazil, I think is a better guess. I really do think so. All right, so that's the Americas done and done with. Uh, pretty easy, honestly. We're getting into Europe, which is also very easy. Basically, everything except for a very handful of places is in GeoGuessr. The first one you should never, ever click is Bosnia and Herzegovina, I think. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, to be honest with you. But Bosnia here is not in the game. Don't click it. Kosovo here. It's a little part of Kosovo that you should never, ever click. Um, Serbia, however, is in the game. So you can click Serbia. Just don't click on this little territory here called Kosovo. On the same lines, uh, Moldova here, kind of next to Ukraine and Romania, is not in the game. So if you think you're in Moldova, you're not. You're going to be in either Ukraine or Romania, probably. Now, the only other European country is just off the coast of Turkey here, Cyprus. Cyprus is not in the game. Do not click it. However, all of these other Mediterranean islands, such as Malta, Greece, and all, Italy, France, uh, all these Spanish islands, and all these even down here, um, like the Azores of Spain and uh, Portugal, Canary Islands, they are in the game. So feel free to click them. Hello, everyone. Future IC3P here. I was editing this video and I totally forgot to include Liechtenstein as a country that you should never, ever click. Okay. It's so small. 
and I, I it just never crosses my mind because it's never in the game that I forgot about it here in this video. Don't click on Liechtenstein, not in the game. Another side note, these these smaller countries underneath Russia and right next to Turkey, like Georgia, Azerbaijan, and Armenia are not in the game, so do not click them. We're currently in Belarus here. There is a Trekker coverage in Belarus. Again, you're never going to really see this too often, um, if at all. I don't think I've ever seen this, but it's very similar to Costa Rica, where you're just going to be kind of walking around the downtown area of Minsk here, the capital city. Uh, and I can't get on the road, as you can see. I'm stuck on the sidewalk, which means there's no Google Street View here. But if you see kind of this, this language, and uh, this is this is Minsk here, um, go here. But then again, honestly, 99.9% .9 of the time, you're never going to be in Belarus unless you're in this exact spot. So the odds of that happening, very slim. Just kind of like never click Belarus. Just a reminder, when you are in Europe, a lot of these islands are going to be in the game. So, for example, these Scotland islands right here are in the game. Also, the Faroe Islands are in the game as well. If you take a look, almost all these roads are in GeoGuess. So you plop it down. It's pretty distinct. Um, the Faroe Islands looks like this. Pretty crazy straight out of a movie. So um, definitely don't forget about that. I want to give a quick shout out to Svalbard here because it is technically in the game. It's like almost you can't go more north than it, I suppose. Well, let's take a look, couple of looks at uh, what you might see from Svalbard. This boat, for example, you might see. Again, it's very similar to those other Costa Rica, Belarus rounds where you're just going to see a bunch of random stuff happening here in Svalbard. You're not going to see any really official street view coverage. It's always going to be what's they, what they call the trekker coverage. So when they're not in a car, they're doing something else on a boat, by a foot, um, by some sort of other random vehicle. That's what you're going to see in Svalbard. So you don't really have to click it too much. Be careful, though. All right, so I'm currently heading into a GeoGuessr competitive game. I want to give you guys a quick little tip and trick about Svalbard. So if you click over here, then go click on Svalbard, which is way up here. As you can see, the flag in the bottom left corner is almost identical. It actually is identical, basically, to Norway. So when you, if, if I were to click on Svalbard, people would think that I'm actually guessing Norway and they may not guess Norway. So if you see the Norwegian flag up here, just know somebody could be messing with you and they may have gone Svalbard. That's Europe. Let's move on to the Middle East. So the Middle East is actually fairly easy. There are only about three places you really have to worry about. The first one is Israel and Palestine. Uh, I, I think GeoGuessr kind of groups these together as one country, but just note that both of these countries are actually in the game. Um, and they're right on the Mediterranean Sea here. Right next door is Jordan. So, you know, if you if you guess in this region, your guess isn't going to be that far off because it's probably going to be around here. The only other country you really have to worry about is down here in the UAE, the United Arab Emirates. That's where Dubai is. Um, so if you see like a giant city in the middle of the desert with Arabic writing and a little bit of English here as well, you're probably going to be in Dubai or a, a surrounding area. Um, you do see some trekker coverage in Iraq. Lebanon and Qatar. I'm not sure how to say that honestly. Um, if you, you're not gonna, you barely ever are gonna see these three countries again. Similar to like Costa Rica, Belarus, Svalbard. You know, but you know, you know these countries. You're really not gonna see them. Don't click them. Don't click on Syria. Don't click on Saudi Arabia, Oman, Yemen, or uh, Bahrain, or even Kuwait. Okay, don't click on any of those places. They're not in the game. Moving on to like central. Asia, we have Iran here, um, we have Afghanistan. Basically, you don't want to click on any of these countries, including Kazakhstan. For some reason, I see a lot of times, like the Geo Wizard, for some reason, will always say, maybe I'm in Kazakhstan. No, you're, you're not going to be in Kazakhstan, Geo Wizard. It's not in the game. Never click it. A country you do want to click on is Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan is, is in the game actually quite frequently. You're going to run into it. So make sure you click on Kyrgyzstan, and uh, as well as Russia, which we haven't really talked about, but Russia kind of in Europe and Asia, so I guess I'll include it here. Russia, massive country. You could really be anywhere. It's a GeoGuessr's worst nightmare. Honestly, Russia is. And also Mongolia. Mongolia is probably the easiest country to get because of the Google car. Well, you know, we can get into that in a later video. But Mongolia is in the game as well. Don't forget about it. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of purple here, which is the Trekker coverage, which means there's no really street view. It's all just kind of like random people just on like bikes, scooters, doing what they got to do. We'll get into every country here in a little bit. Let's get into the countries that you do want to click on. Bhutan is in the game. Click on Bhutan. Bangladesh is in the game. You'll see it quite frequently. Myanmar, never click it. Not in the game. You're never going to see Myanmar. Never click it. 
Thailand, Cambodia, and Laos is in the game though. So click on these three countries. We'll take a look at Vietnam because you don't really see it too often. It's a bit rare, but we'll, we'll analyze that in a little bit. Again, Sri Lanka, this island right down here by India is also in the game. So just remember that this little island, kind of like the teardrop uh, coming out of India here, is actually in the game. So don't forget it. India is actually a really interesting country in GeoGuessr because it was only released not too long ago. It is the latest country to be added to GeoGuessr, but there is kind of a catch because it's not everywhere. It's only in a few select locations. So if you really want to get down and dirty into India, you got to kind of know where you're going to be. So it's really just a lot of these bigger cities here. Um, and as you can see, there's just a lot of photospheres and uh, not a lot going on on the roads. If you want to deeply analyze India, I'll probably get into it some point on this channel, not really anytime soon, because you're not going to see it too often. But just note that you will see India. It just will be very infrequently. You're probably going to be more likely to be in Bangladesh or Sri Lanka. But as I said, you may be able to be having some rounds in India. For some reason as well, Pakistan comes up on the world map kind of frequently. I don't know why because it's not official Google Street View, it is the Trekker coverage. So if you're playing like, like Battle Royale countries or distance on GeoGuessr Competitive, you might run into Pakistan, but just know it's not gonna be official coverage, it's gonna be weird. And, I, and it's often gonna be in like Lahore for some reason. This is the city that I find myself to be in Pakistan the most. But then again, um, there is there is you know a handful of stuff in other places in Karachi, but you're probably not gonna be in Pakistan. As you can see, there's not much coverage at all. So honestly, 99% of the time, don't click Pakistan. Now, luckily or unluckily, depending on how you're looking at it, one of the biggest countries in the world, China, is actually not in the game. Kind of similarly to like Pakistan, you might get a couple of really weird rounds where you're going to be in, let's say, Chengdu or Shanghai or something like that. Just know that's super uncommon and don't click on China. It's one of the countries that you don't really want to click. However, you may run into these cities down here, Hong Kong and Macau. You may run into them. I uh, I don't really know why that is, but uh, I think it's because there's some sort of independence um, going on. But as you can see, there's a lot of roads in uh, Hong Kong right here. And just over the border in Shenzhen, there's nothing. As you can see, there's barely anything. So as you can see, Hong Kong, a lot of Google traffic, a lot of street fuel. Let's drop in and just take a look. As you can see, this is what you're going to get in Shanghai. And, uh, I'm sorry, Hong Kong. And this is the only part of China that you're ever going to be in. As you can see in the top left, this is official Google uh, Street View. And we are on a car, on a road. So this is going to be in the game. And uh, get prepared for that. But the rest of China, don't click it. Kind of on a similar note, if you think you're in China, let's say you think you see Chinese writing, you, it may be kind of true. Taiwan is its own country. And it's an island right off the coast of China. China's trying to take them over, I think. But as of right now, they are independent. So if you think that you're in China, you're probably in Taiwan. So I would go almost 99% of the time in Taiwan. If you think you're in China, just kind of have in the back of your mind, you might be in Hong Kong or over here a little bit in Macau. Uh, but for the most part, you might be in Taiwan. Taiwan is often confused with South Korea and Japan, but the languages are quite different. So once you kind of learn that, you'll know where you are. And there are also a lot of other, you know, important uh, deciding factors on differences of where you're going to be. North Korea, however, not in the game. We kind of hinted at that at the beginning of the video. North Korea, not in the game. Never click it. Just kind of a hint. A lot of these uh, little islands down here that are but actually belong to Japan are in the game. So a lot of people think it's only this little chunk of land over here. But you got to keep in mind that some of these little islands as well, as you can see, has a lot of Google Street View coverage. This, of course, I drop into one that's not. You're not going to see this one. But... Um, there are there is Google Street View with actual cars on these islands as well. Vietnam is the other country you got to kind of watch out for. It's normally not going to be in the game, but you may see it in some of these bigger cities like Ho Chi Minh City, where they actually drive around a moped. So as you can see, there's actually a lot of coverage here in Ho Chi Minh City, but they just drive around. Um, well, this one is just I'm not sure what's going on here, but. They are on the street here and they do drive around. And as you can see, well, this is not uh, official street view coverage. Um, let's find some official street view coverage real quick. So to be honest, I can't find it. It's rare. OK, I'm finding a lot of unofficial coverage. Here's a kind of a, a vibe. You're going to be on a kind of a moped like this. It's not going to have this branding on it. It's going to be, you know, pretty descriptive, kind of like a, a typical Google car would be. 
um but it's gonna be kind of looking like this you're in vietnam again you're not gonna see it in official maps you're only gonna kind of see it in like the world map that you get in competitive games but even then it's gonna be very rare so don't click vietnam really but again it, it might come up every once in a while all right so we're actually done with mainland asia let's head down now into the south pacific islands basically malaysia and indonesia are both pretty big countries that are in the game make sure you click on them now there are three sort of mini countries singapore brunei and timor Lest. basically only one of these is in the game and that one is singapore singapore is actually a very common country that you will see quite often as you can see there's a lot of coverage here a lot of roads and uh, you will find yourself in singapore and right here in malaysia quite often um, even this island right here, which is the island of Borneo, everywhere in Indonesia and Malaysia is available. Brunei, however, is not. So never click on Brunei uh, and as well as Timor Leste. Not, don't click here as well. As you can see, there's only a couple of photospheres. There's not even that many here. There's basically nothing here. But I mean, you could technically even be over here, though, in Indonesia. If we drop it down, as you can see, we do have some official Google coverage right on the same island as Timor Leste. Just know that you're not going to be actually one country over to the east over here another country you should never ever click is papua new guinea not going to be in the game all right don't click it it's not going to be in the game australia is in the game of course and so is new zealand so feel free to click that and even tasmania which is actually a part of australia feel free to click tasmania it is in the game now as you can see there are a lot of little south pacific islands luckily for you because i mean i could never find these if i had to on a map like you know, I have to go and find Tonga. It's going to take forever. Luckily, there's no Google coverage in any of these little islands. And where do we just go? The only island that you might be on is the American Samoa. There is some coverage here in the American Samoa. It's kind of advanced, so you're probably not going to be here too often. So don't really worry about that right now. The other American islands, Guam and the Northern Mariana Islands, are also in the game. You might see them. Guam is fairly common. And you might see Saipan, like Garapan, in the game quite often. Um, some of these other smaller islands you might see as well, a part of the Northern Mariana Islands. These are both uh, territories of the U.S. So if you're playing country streaks, if you guess the United States, I think I'm pretty sure you're going to get this correct, even if it is in these two islands here. Um, and going off of that as well, Hawaii is also in the game. So don't don't, don't be afraid to go Hawaii every once in a while. Um, it is in the game and you will find yourself in Honolulu, you know, ever so often. It's, I've been here once. It's nice. I forgot to mention the Philippines. Make sure you guess here, the Philippines is going to be in the game, uh, and it's fairly common. You're going to see it quite often, so make sure you don't neglect the Philippines. There's a pretty big island here called New Caledonia. It's not in the game, so don't click on New Caledonia. You might be tempted because you, you might see it out here. It's fairly large. Don't click it. However, way over here on Christmas Island, you may see yourself in Christmas Island. It's As you can see, there's not many rows. There's like two, but you might be here actually, and I find myself kind of I remember I had a round right here, actually, right by the airport. Just remember that uh, this is official Google coverage, and you may be on Christmas Island. Now, according to Geo Tips, you could also be right over here in the Coco Keelings Islands. I personally have never been here, so I don't really know if this is true or not. But as you can see, there is some official Google coverage here on the West Island, kind of a dis very distinct Google car here. So you kind of can know if you're here or not. But as I said, uh, I have never been in... Uh, on Coco's Island before, but it is in the game. So if you do see it, don't be too surprised. There is an enormous amount of countries in Africa, and there are way more that are not in the game that are. So in other words, there are way more countries that you should never ever click than the ones that you should, which actually makes it kind of helpful and easier for us GeoGuessr players. I'm going to kind of start in the north and work my way down. Now, the north in this desertous region, there's actually only one country that you're ever going to be in, and that's Tunisia, which actually comes up fairly frequently. So if you think you're in North Africa, you're probably going to be in Tunisia. Actually, you almost always will be in Tunisia. Uh, and as you can see, there's a lot of coverage basically right around here. Actually, it's not too you're not going to be too much too much out here. Usually it looks like interesting. So yeah, in Tunisia, basically, there's not much coverage. It's only basically over here on the coast. Even some of these roads over here, just not on Google Maps. But you will find yourself over here on this little island. And uh, of course, in Tunis which you will find a lot of coverage here. We're off the coast of Morocco, which is not in the game. Never click it. 
our uh, Funchal. We have these islands up here, and we have these islands down here. They belong to Spain and Portugal. I don't know which one's which, to be honest. But these are all in the game, and you might see them. Some of these islands are, are really small, and you won't find them. But the bigger ones with the cities certainly is going to have some Google Street View, and you should definitely don't count them out. All right, don't count them out. It may be the correct answer. Funchal especially, this is the island where Cristiano uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, the, the the goat of soccer basically right now is from, and you will see Funchal actually quite frequently in the game. So don't forget about that. Now, as you can see, a lot of countries down here in West Africa, but there are only three that you need to remember. The first one is Senegal, and, and uh, you notice that there's the Gambia in the middle. Don't click on the Gambia, not going to be in the game, but Senegal will be. The second country that you want to guess is Ghana. Ghana is a fairly common country that you will be seeing in GeoGuessr. But again, all of these other ones here, Guinea-Bissau, Guinea, Sierra, Le Sierra Leone, Liberia, Ivory Coast, uh, Burkina Faso, Mali, you know, all these countries that I don't even really know how to pronounce because I never guess them. I never click them. And neither should you. Nigeria, though. Nigeria, however, is another country that you should guess. The last and final country in West Africa that you will be at quite frequently uh, Nigeria has Lagos, which is like one of the biggest cities in Africa. So make sure you don't count this out. Um, and you also will be in Abuja, which is the capital city. And I find myself in actually Benin City for some reason, a bit smaller, but I find myself here quite often. But uh, keep in mind that Benin City is in the game. Benin is not. Okay, so do not click on Benin, on Benin not in the game. And neither is Togo for that matter. Here are the only two countries that it's in Eastern Africa, Kenya and Uganda. Both of these countries are fairly easy to get once you know what to look for, which we'll get into in a later video. But definitely click on Kenya, definitely guess on Uganda. None of these other countries in Central Africa, there's a whole bunch of them, way too many to read. Never click them. Crazy news, while I was editing this video, a new country has dropped, and that is Rwanda, right here by Kenya, Uganda, and Rwanda. All three of these countries are in the game. Rwanda is a bit weird because there's only coverage right now in the Kigali area. As you can see, I'm moving the guy around. There's a couple of photospheres here and there, but for the most part, Kigali, the capital city, is all you're going to find. Uh, let's drop it in. Let's see if we can get some Google coverage here, some official coverage. And it looks like it's uh, loading. One second. All right, so we found some Kigali Street View. Google official coverage, as you can see, is basically just a pickup truck driving around Kigali, it looks like this, and you will find Kigali City in GeoGuessr. So very cool, it's always exciting when GeoGuessr drops some new country coverage, it's pretty exciting, and Rwanda is the latest country to do that, but it's just in a very small area of Rwanda, as you saw. We have a quick shout out right here to Reunion Island, which I believe is a part of France, and this is gonna be in the game, you will see this every so often, and uh, once you know what to look for, it's fairly easy, this isn't actually official coverage, but yeah, you see, you see the French license plate here. Uh, let's find some official coverage real quick. Okay, so here we have some official coverage of the Reunion Island. As I said, you will see this quite, I, I wouldn't say too often, but you will certainly see it. And it's good to know that it is in the game. However, these other countries, these other little islands out here are not in the game. So you're not going to see Mauritius and you're not going to really see uh, the Camaros or uh, Mayotte or the Seychelles. You won't see those, so never click them. I'm currently in Antenarivo, which is the capital city of Madagascar. So if you see something that looks like this, this is official Google coverage. So you may run into it every once in a while, but it's so rare that I would say never guess uh, Madagascar. There are a couple of other places in Madagascar that you may need to click. I don't, let me try to find them real quick for you guys. So there's a really short stretch of road here, the R98. We'll drop in and take a look at it. You might see this as well, which is very strange. You have this random car here. Uh, it's official Google Street View and you can move around so you may encounter it every once in a while But look at that. Look how short this little strip is in the grand scheme of things. I mean That's gonna be hard to get Don't remember it. It's not that important right now. We'll get into that in a, in a later video as well There are only four countries that you have to worry about at this point. We have gotten through almost the entire world Antarctica don't click it. All right, don't click Antarctica. However, South Africa is a very common country that you will find. Um, and including in this are the other two little countries that are within it. We have Lesotho, which is very common. That's very distinct. You'll see the mountain ranges there. And Eswatini as well. So you will see these three countries in there. You will not see Mozambique. So do not click Mozambique. However, Botswana, right above it, will be in the game. Botswana is... 
it's kind of sparse as you can see there's not too many roads besides like right here near Gabarone, the capital um but you will see some northern uh botswana rounds like way up here uh almost in i believe zimbabwe now this is not official google street view coverage but there is some coverage up here of google street view coverage so make sure you guys don't count out these four countries down here when you're looking at africa including botswana which a lot of people overlook all right everyone i hope you enjoyed this video these are all the countries that are in geoguessr and which ones that you should never ever guess i hope you learned something this is the start of a brand new series which is called learn geoguessr and basically there's a playlist in the description this is the very first video so it may be the only one in there when you click on it however i'm going to be continuing to add new videos to help you learn help myself grow as a geoguessr player as well because Honestly, the ceiling is so high, you almost can never learn everything in GeoGuessr. I mean, it's basically everything in the world you're trying to learn, right? So uh, there's a lot to learn and it will take it one step at a time. Right now, after watching this video, you should know all the countries that you should be clicking on. Side note as well, obviously this video might be outdated because GeoGuessr may add new countries to the game. If that happens, check the comments. We'll check it anyways. But check the comments to make sure that I didn't say something because if a new country is added, I will let you know in the comments below unless I have died. Okay, that was kind of a joke, but I will keep you guys posted and I will be active on this channel. If you have any comments or any questions you want to ask me and what you want to learn, I can make a helpful video for you. Um, I did have one request to do South America, Mexico, Spain, kind of the differences between these Latin countries. So that will be coming out next. Keep, keep looking out for that. Keep looking out for that. But if you have any other questions at all, let me know. Thanks for watching, everybody. That was probably my most insane guess I've ever had in my life. There he is, there he is. He's jumping. He made it. Oh, he falls. What is he doing? Wait. Let's go! No! 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 No!